here's my here's my short stories versus um, <laughs> novels uh, analogy. Right, a novel is like a monogamous, long term, um, mutually respectful, very special relationship, um, and short stories are like hookups or 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 one night stands or one hour <laughs> stands right they both they're both wonderful and important and it, you know you can have you can have you can have that all uh in life um but there's something really satisfying about like a quickie like a, just a like a, a dirty like let's do this let's try something wild and weird um and you know you're not married to it you can say goodbye to it when you're done with it um you know uh a lot of times my um if I'm struggling to think through a novel project, I can write a short story that's set in that universe. That's a that's a, a trick I stole from N.K. Jemisin, um, who talks about sometimes nice. writing like uh, using short stories as like a, a a test run for a world or a character or a supernatural ability mm-hmm. or something. Um, so yeah, I'm like, oh, this this idea is interesting, but I might not want to. I might not want to marry it. Let me let me take it for a spin. So yeah, short stories are fun. They're quick. They're dirty. You can you can have fun and and be in and out quickly. Um, you know, some people only like one or the other <laughs> as writers and as readers, and some people like both, and some people like one more than the other. But I like I could I actually like it all. Like there's there's no writing I've discovered yet that I hate. That's not true. Mm. I don't like writing essays. But when it comes to fiction, flash, uh, it's all flash fiction. <laughs> Yeah, flash fiction I can get down with, but novellas are really fun <laughs> because they are they are they are they are like us. Okay, if we're gonna keep to the relationship uh, analogy, it's like a summer fling or something that's, that's not good. a one night stand, but that isn't like you know this is gonna be a, a year or more of my life, right? Um, they they give you all the things that a novel give you gives you in terms of like you know. Um, you know the 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 changes like you know uh, multiple plot lines changing over time action that isn't just like i did this thing and then it's done um so Mm. it's a yeah it's a really fun genre and it's a way to a way to um to play with uh plot in a different way um because you want to have good plot beats, but you want to make them you want to make them fast. It's also just like a really yeah. exciting time now because novellas are sort of an awkward length. Um, and there was a long time where novellas were really important to science fiction when like, you know, a lot of the paperback publishers would publish like two novellas in one book, like a, a, a mass market paperback that had two novellas in it. Um, and a lot of the um, uh, pulp, a lot of the pulp magazines and the, the science fiction journals would publish novellas when those were much more widely read than they are now. And they right. sort of fell out of fashion for a really long time because like the technology and the logistics wasn't there. Um, and it's only in the last few years that I think that we're starting to see like Tor and Rebellion, Solaris, um, Neon Hemlock is doing amazing stuff. Like there's cool presses yeah. publishing awesome novellas. Um, and that didn't always be, that wasn't always the case. It was usually like you would write a novella and you have like one shot. Like if, uh, if exactly. Asimov's if if Asimov's doesn't take it, mm, you might be screwed. Um, so it's nice that there's a lot of places out there now. 